second half of the season kicks off with round 12 and some new challenges emerging. Demon fans were delirious last Monday when the D's annihilated Collingwood at the MCG. Today they took on the Bombers, who also after a slow start had rocketed up to third after blitzing Hawthorne by 30 points. Carlton too looked anything but a finals contender only three weeks back, but now is playing as well as any side in the competition. Adelaide, back into the top six after three successive victories, was determined to put the Blues to the test. A tough task at Prince's Park. The AFL Today on Seven Sports. Yes, a very good evening everyone. Round 12 continues after a sensational match last night at the Wacker in Perth. The Roos two games clear at the top with many of their main challenges in action this afternoon. Four games played in blustery conditions at the MCG, Waverley, Princess Park and the Western Oval. Well, two teams who figured in big wins last Monday this afternoon lined up at the cricket ground. Essendon going for its six foot on the trot, while the Demons were looking for more of the form that on the G has seen them down the West Coast Eagles and, of course, more recently Collingwood. The Bombers had made two changes, Fletcher and Plain for Delaney and the suspended Dean Wallace, while it was White for Brett Lovett, the one change at Melbourne. Our commentators are Sandy Roberts, Ian Robertson and Don Scott, and we pick up play with highlights of the first three quarters. Dines could have almost got a shove. O'Donnell gets a kick down towards Salmon, who's got the height. 25 metres out, almost directly in front. Salmon shoots and Salmon goes. Road, Harvey, the line all there. Viney at the back. Yes! Gets the handball out the back. Bradley Plain and Cal. Now Buick, away for Plain. He should kick a goal, Bradley. Oh, it's close to goal. Long. Salmon. Couldn't take it. Buick, was he hell? Goes to ground, gets it off to Plain. Plain's kick 1-1. One, one. Hand pass to Simons. 30 metres out, and he's kicked another one. It's punched away by Fletcher. Punched away by Fletcher. Ineffective. Yates over the top. Well done, Graham Yates. It's your goal. Jakovic kicked it. Stretch just sneaking away from Wanganin. Now Tingo. Wide on the wing. Into half for Jakovic. One in each term today. 132 goals in his short career. Oh, a kick. Lovely kick. Peter Road has Tingay loose, he uses him. Stephen Tingay can run on, have a shot from 50. Simons gets him late, it's coming back. What a goal! Salmon will be his target again. Oh, it goes over the top. Can he soccer it off the ground? Can Watson do it? Towards centre wing. Gonna be a tight old last quarter. Stephen Phoebe, chipping towards Jagonich. Directly in front. Aha, aha. So three-quarter time, Melbourne just in front, 9-13 to Essendon's 8-8. Eight, eight, and the stage was set for a thrilling final term. Let's go back to the Melbourne cricket ground now and we pick up play at the start of the last quarter. 11 points the margin, favouring Melbourne. They got two early goals to start the third quarter. What will happen this time? Steins can't trap it cleanly, neither can Viney. Obbs partly smothered, Wanganeen could have been taken high. He was, said the umpire. Surely they were a little fortunate there. Wanganeen to take it from half back. Essendon desperate for the first score. Derek Kiggett spent time on the bench. Comes up shaking his head at the man in white. That will do nothing. Steins and Somerville. Oh, free be held by Mark McCurry. Advantage. Into half forward. Towards Jagovic. He's really got some talent, this man. He's really got some talent. Here he is using his body and his strength on the bigger, younger Dustin Fletcher. I suppose you could say inexperienced Dustin Fletcher. Only made his debut a couple of games ago. He's still a schoolboy. Five goal 
six to Djakovic at the moment. This is a very important start for Melbourne. And it is just what they wanted. And what Essendon did not want. Six goals. As the Jacko show rolls on. 10-13, plays 8-8. Yeah, it's been a good effort by Djakovic. A terrific effort. His leading has been of a first-class nature. He's given them something to kick to, and he's been leading intelligently. And there he is. Come on, he's saying. The runner out with Dustin Fletcher. Brian Wood, the Essendon runner, going out to Dustin Fletcher. Words of encouragement. 73 to 56. Robbins marks on half back. Looks pretty sharp. She sneaks it out towards centre wing. Grinter. Centres towards half forward. Harvey takes the mark. Line slip. The pressure now on the bombers as Mark Harvey. Kicks to centre wing. Simon's up high. Couldn't take the mark. Well done, Rod. Grinter Peter. belts it over the back to gain valuable meterage. Essendon have the numbers. It's Denham. Short chip up towards half four. Well done, Tim Watson. Watson. That's a strong mark. And also, White's hurt himself. Certainly bound up by bandages. Bandages, White. Watson to plane. Melbourne fans giving him the rounds at the table after he was reported earlier in the match. Bradley Plain, a player with a lot of confidence, uh, not a confidence, ability. An important kick for Essendon. This is only his fourth for the match. Started it right, stayed right. One goal, two to Bradley Plain. And stretch it is to kick it back into play and he goes to the far side looking out there for Stephen Phoebe the bounce is awkward for that player close to the boundary line he may see it over no Hopgood receives the hand pass and runs away around the boundary line kicks it high out towards the uh, wing region where a good mark was taken by Chris Danaher sweeping hand pass into the path of Harvey Harvey's kick into the center of the ground made good by O'Donnell was excellent half volley was difficult then the hand pass for Wanganeen Wanganeen towards full forward. Plain can't mark. At the back, Watson. He's got to kick it. This must go through for Essendon. It does. Watson gets his second goal. And a very, very important kick in the context of this game. Only 10 points the difference. The very important centre breaks. Essendon get it. Denham, long. High kick into the forward line. No mark taken. Robbins in trouble. Still there to be won. Oh, oh Plain will get another one for Essendon. Four points the difference. Two goals to Bradley Plain. A scrounger on the forward line, I would call him. And it's just four points in Melbourne's favour. Well, if you played this type of game in the 60s or 50s, you'd be criticised for the coach for changing direction and going across goal. It was a cardinal sin in the old days for that reason. If you happen to miss it, it lets the opposition in. And Yates has come off for Melbourne. Cow on. Cow going half forward. So we've got a game here. Bomber fans found their voice. Steins couldn't take it cleanly. The big man goes to ground. Viney there also. And a bounce to take place. Four points the margin. Quick goals to Essendon is what they wanted in this final term. And they got it. And after Djakovic, kick one for the Ds. Stephen Phoebe, round his body, a high kick to half forward. Belted wide towards the wing. Melbourne have the numbers. Phoebe again can drift it up to the half forward flank. Grinter's out in front. Djakovic gives him a lead, but it's ignored. He goes the other way. Toward Peter Rowe, Wanganeen at the back, heads for the boundary line, the youngster. He's hustled all the way, and he's happy to see it over. Doing the chasing was David Neitz. Danaher, Neitz, line, 
just inside 50. You can see exactly where he is. Sanderson, Fletcher, couldn't take it cleanly. Essendon have the numbers. Bomber Thompson to come away for the half-back line. Long. It's only got a sick. Oh, he's in trouble, but he does it beautifully. Gets rid of it. Now Essendon are clear. Mercedes kick. Well done, White. Only as far as Sean White. Off Poor to Lovett. Love it wide. He saw Grinder. And he finds it. Did well to get in front. Jankovic will be his man. Can't take it cleanly. He's hustled. Gets up. There's a free kick. It's going to Jankovic. You can't believe it. Let's have a look again, Don. Well, there's a... Oh. What was the free kick for? Yeah, I think holding the man. That's what the umpire indicated. Well, he's booted six. He's tapped on the boundary line. And the Essendon fans giving him as much support as they see fit. He was in this position earlier in the game. Kicked a point. He's kicked, what, 6-6. Six, six. Bring the house down if he kicks it. Looks Not good. A bad kick. That is a sensational kick. Oh, come on, Jacko, they say. Let's go. 11 13 plays 10 9. There is the free kick. Now just watch this. Grinder still with the ball holding on to it. Folly. Yeah, I don't know. Viney gets the ball out of the centre, up towards Jakovic, nearly taken by Neitz. Ball rebounds for Harvey. In a little bit of trouble, but he's able to get his foot to the ball and kick it out near the wing. Grenvold can't take it. In comes Simons, just when Essendon need a bit of pace, but they're dispossessed and stretches there. He gets back and kicks it long, inside 50 metres. Marking contest. Road has got it. Not paid. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And Road has marked. Very close for Peter Road's maximum kicking distance, I would think. He's looking for a potential lead, but now he's going to kick it long. Oh, it's a good kick for distance. Just offline. And through for his third behind. Yet to kick a goal this week, Peter Road. Alan Jakovic has been the big goal scorer for the day with seven. Fletcher. Up to Sean Denham. Kick number 11. The very quiet first half. Oh. Tingay. This could be costly. Tingay from 60 metres. In the full forward at the back. Road will have a shot. Well, he had the sit, didn't he? Peter Road over kick it. It was a bad option, Fletcher going to Denham, and Denham being forced to kick with the right foot, no one to lob it to. Well, actually, he kept his eye on the ball well then, because Thompson was coming at him. But a little nudge here by Road. Free kick. I'll let you ponder. Peter Road for his first goal. Ninth kick. But what an important kick it is. 15 metres out. Yes! Demon supporters delirious. 12-14 plays 10-9. Well, are they home? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. There's 16 minutes on of this game to be played out. Essendon looked like they were... They definitely did close the gap and looked as if they could go on with it, but... Melbourne have steady, and this is a good effort by Tingay. A great effort. Long he goes, and the sit by row. So with uh, plenty of time left in the game, one wonders whether Essendon can peg back that 17-point advantage that Melbourne have. Buick over the top for Long. Long again, in towards full forward. And a good mark, an excellent mark taken by Gilbert. 
Standing his ground. Handball away for stretch. Stretch from halfback. Goes straight down the ground. Good distance with the kick. At the back is Wanganoon. Forced to kick fairly blindly in towards the forward line. No mark taken. Gilbert is there. Leaves it for Tingo. Away for Stephen Phoebe. In turn to Glenn Lovett. Lovett bounces awkward for him. Pouncing on it was Buick, but he had three to beat. And he was unable to defeat them, and the ball goes over for a throw in. Buick fairly quiet. Change being made. Ray, uh, Harvey going back on the road. Kick it. I think we'll come up onto the forward line for Essendon. There's a chance for Stephen Phoebe. Now Matthew, his brother, gets into the action. Joe Mercedes harassed by Lovett. In comes Stephen Phoebe. Floating kick into the forward line. And it bounces over in front of David Grenbold, about 45 metres from the Melbourne goal. We'll have a throw in. Essendon with the job in front of them now. 15 minutes left. They need three goals to win the game. Lyon, Danaher. Meets there also. Fast kick it. They get another chance. Viney hot on his hammer. Oh, free kick. No free kick. Bomber fans not happy as Plain goes in. He's at the bottom of the pack, Bradley Plain. Well, the umpire was right there. Maybe kick it tipped over his own feet. Yeah, he did actually. What about that? That's a bit of a push then. Anyway. There's no free kick. There is now. Oh. <laughs> is that the square You're off? You're kidding, Chris. And make good. Some of them from half back. Essendon wanting quick goals. Out towards Chris Danaher. Oh, Might well done. Matthew Phoebe and he can't. He'll drift it into the centre. Got a couple of options there. Love it or Viney. Chose love it. Call to play on. Chips a kick that slews off the side of his boot. Tingo is forced to defend. He gets a punch away. It comes to Grinter. Grinter gives a little ground. Off to Hopgood. Hopgood comes wider. Tingo on centre wing. Pumping it in towards the 50 metre line. Into the pocket. In towards Jakovic. Fletcher sees it close to the boundary line. He lopes away. Goes across goal to Chris Danaher, who marks in the back pocket. This time he gets clear. No, he doesn't. They get him. He's forced the handball. It's spelled free. Phoebe couldn't take it at the first attempt. Essendon may get out of trouble. It's Denham's kick that clears them to half forward, but only as far as Big Jim Stein. And well done, Stein's getting back across that half back line. His hand pass goes away for Robbins. Robbins, short again. Viney. Viney will carry the football now oh. for Melbourne up towards their half forward area. Buick, the tackler. Viney's got it. He's caught. Are you penalised? No. Yes. Yes. Had plenty of time to get rid of that ball. Well done, Buick. Has to be a bit of urgency for the Bombers now. Time ticking away. 13 minutes. He kicks it towards Watson's area. Watson and Robbins. And the ball goes over for a throw-in. Tim looking as though he's struggling a little bit, probably fitness-wise, which is uh, to be expected. He's only played, uh, what, four games now. Kick it. Handball. Plain. Plain has kicked two. Up towards full forward, Salmon can't take the mark. Hopgood gives away a behind. Salmon struggling. Difference, 16 points in favour of Melbourne. 12 and a half minutes left. Stretch will bring it back into play. It's beautiful. Straight down the middle, towards Obst. They have a second attempt, line off the ground. Into the middle it goes. Cowell is there, rides the bump. Denham's at the bottom of the pack, squatting over the ball. Cowell was good then, yep. in a contest with a bat man much bigger than him. Peter Somerville Did not showed flinch. a lot of uh, courage there. 44,094 fans here at the MCG. We're still in the middle, and the Bombers still need goals. Badly. Time running out. Long. Here's a charge. Chip over the top for play. <laughs> Class. Class. He thought for a moment about Simons. He thought for a moment about going short, but 
Now Tim Watson saying, here they are. Just do it. I don't know if he's confident of kicking the distance. Obviously not. So to Paul Salmon. Salmon's been pretty well held. He's kicked only a couple. One in the first term and one in the second. Well, if he gets this, Sandy, there's only 10 points of difference. And Essendon's catch-up football continues. And there's still time for them to get in front. Sean White signalling to the bench. Here's Salmon. 40 metres out. Drop putt. Going to be close. Oh, close to Now, Melbourne would have to be considered a bit stiff if they were to lose the game, wouldn't you think? Yes. Well, they certainly control play, haven't they? Well, you made an interesting uh, observation, Don, at three-quarter time that they'd increase their lead at every break. Oh, not paid to watch. Now a free no, kick. Something's happening paid. here. It's Matthew Phoebe getting a free kick, I think. He's done well today, this fellow. Too high. Coming up for his 22nd position. And he's kicking towards full oh. It's going to be marked by Nitz. A little bit too easy. In a tight finish. I don't think uh, Kevin Sheedy and his band of trusty assistants would be very happy with that. So David Nitz, who's played most of his football today on the back line at centre half back shooting for goal for the demons hits the top of the post oh. the absolute top of the post <laughs> well he was looking for it that was to be his first goal in the we go, can we have another look at that would be a very very unusual occurrence i would think dustin fletcher to kick it back into play we haven't got a replay of that but uh, Fletcher goes long beautiful kick kick it makes it difficult for Matthew Phoebe unfairly says the umpire no it's not Matthew Phoebe it's Neeks who'll take the free kick in the half forward into Djakovic did that well didn't he because Wanganin was on the fly as well he just grabbed the ball look at Wanganin coming across the path Maybe Djakovic got there a little before Wanganeen. But it did look like there could be a collision between the two. Jacko for number seven from 49 metres. That's number eight. He's kicking them everywhere. Easy to lose count with Djakovic. He's kicked eight. Fine, he sends them into attack again. Melbourne are home. No doubt about that. 40 metres out from goal. And this time it sneaks away from the lightning forward and over the boundary line. Eight goals, six for the day. Uh, four points up at quarter time, Melbourne. Seven at half time, 11 at three quarter time. And the way they're going at the moment, they're 22 points up. So they've increased and gone further ahead this the last quarter. Don't forget, Essendon got within four points at one stage in the last quarter. Yes, they've got a couple of quick goals, didn't they, Dom? From uh, Watson and Plain. That was as close as they got. Viney comes in for a second attempt and then under pressure sees it over the line. Lights are on. Light rain just starting to fall here. Has been a forecast of some torrid weather on the way. It looks as though it's not all that far away. But... And very cold too, Sandy, here at the MCG. Salmon. Oh. Who's holding who? Chris Dano sneaks away, but the whistling sound. Salmon will get it. David Nietzsche, I don't believe it. Paul Salmon towards Somerville. Not quite on centre wing. Fine. Caught by Simons, but he just gets his kick. But straight back to seven. Sting's gone out of this game now. With Melbourne home. Denham having it on the half-back flank. Bombers that need some finish. The end of the middle. Off is the only one who wants it. Kick number 
number 11. With the hand pass, Hopkins. Gilbert loses it. Thompson off to uh, O'Donnell. Short little chip, but straight back to Ops. Sean White off, and, and coming back off on the ground is Samista. He limped off Sandy. But the action is with Obst. 70 metres out from goal. In towards full forward, but the height is there. Belongs to Sam. Off to Harvey. Dummies the hand pass. Then gets a kick up towards centre wing. There are three demons. Well, he knew that. That's why he dummied the hand pass. There was no one to kick to the first time. No, yeah. Harvey's hurt himself too. Ops, Steins or Tinga, and he chose Steins. He's got it to love it. Well, let's hope he hasn't done any serious damage to his leg. He held that kick back, Harvey, and uh, eventually kicked across the other guy's body. Glenn Lovett it is with the football. Kicks it well inside 50 metres. High flyer there was Gary Lyon. Couldn't take the mark. Kick it back there for Estenen. Wanganee goes for the boundary line. Oh, he's down. The umpire saw that as all clear. Harvey gets back to his feet. The uh, physio or the doctor there he held this football way too late and eventually Ooh. kicking it across the body there of his Melbourne opponent Essendon try to force the ball forward along that outer side Simons just gets away from stretch held when he didn't have it except they're right it should have been a free kick because what he did was handball the ball away now and the then free kick is going to Essendon Go on, Don, sorry. Yes, he uh, should have been paid for holding the man because he definitely got rid of the ball. Well, Buick with the football. Transfers play near the centre of the ground where Mercury, who's been very quiet, gets past his opponent, which was Glenn Lovett, and kicks it inside 50 metres. Essendon need a mark. No, it's repelled by the Demon defence who have stood firmly. It's Gilbert kicking it out where Buick has taken the mark. Certainly the heat gone out of the game now as far as... Uh, Eston is concerned. Buick kicking towards centre half forward. Marking contest. Somerville at the back, but Robbins is there. The smaller players across half back and full back have done extremely well, Melbourne. Kick towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Back there is Chris Danaher. Wanganeen, then Thompson. Thompson gets past. Short kick into the centre of the ground. Taken by Salmon. Hand pass for Masidi. Masidi goes long in towards full forward. Big punch, excellent punch back there by Stephen Phoebe. Out wide for Tingay. Tingay trying to pat it in front of himself. Plain, then long. Now Bradley Plain has a chance. Can't get past though. Good tackle by Tingay. Good tackle by Kickett on Robbins. Ball spills free. Hopgood will clear. And it goes close to the boundary line where it goes over right on the players' interchange area in front of Peter Road. And the Melbourne fans down here in front of us are pretty excited. They sense victory with only four minutes left. Yes, the lead is 22 points. Salmon on centre wing. Hasn't got a lot. Sanders it. Lights making it difficult for Buick. Could have been taken high. Now love it. Melbourne away. Across the centre he goes. Towards Djakovic, who's 55 out from goal. Fletcher right on his hammer. Djakovic has Lyon there if he wants him. Pulls it even further for Lovett. Runs into Wanganee. Bang! Out he goes. Could still result in a goal. Yes! Well, Lovett on his feet. He certainly did run into Wanganee. It was a collision. And the Melbourne guys going across and recognising the effort of Lovett. He's done very, very well today, Glenn Lovett. As in a change, Cowell off. Coming back on his Yates. He kicked the goal, Cowell. And here's the collision. And the ball in no man's land. Darren Cowell kicks the goal and then leaves the playing arena straight off the interchange bench it's another one though to the demons and Neitz gets the hand pass away Phoebe towards the half forward flank towards Grinter Rod Grinter enjoying it up there on that half forward line kicks in towards the pocket and sliding over the 
boundary line is David Grenville. Is that a try? Well, they need more than that, don't they? After five successive wins, the bubble has burst for the Young Bombers. Whereas Melbourne continue to resurface after looking down and out for the count. Well, you'd wonder what happened to them three or four weeks ago when they were just disgraceful against uh, Carlton. And they were beaten by 17-26 to 11-8. Not by 54 points, but by six goals, 18. Well, they've come back very strongly. And Played superbly against Collingwood. Credit to them. Here they go again. Love it off to Grinnick and go over the top once more. No, they say, go in towards full forward. Perhaps he should have had a shot. Instead, he tried to pass to Sinista. But it doesn't matter because they're still going to get another one. That's out of our the That's the story of Essendon's day. Melbourne have just been on them all day. Grinder will take it. Well, Djokovic kicked one from here earlier. Can Rod Grinder repeat the feat? Gee, that was a good kick by Alan Djokovic, though, to, to goal from here. That was a boomer. This will be his tenth kick. It's Jacko. Oh, I think he has. Oh, what a kick. What a kick! Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1993 AFL Premiership season. Yeah, certainly some good recent wins by Melbourne, defeating the West Coast, Collingwood and now Essendon.